typical teenagers might use their free time, you know, playing video games, listening to music, maybe playing sports outside. <laughs> But in a story that's positively San Diego, ABC 10 News reporter Steve Smith met an eighth grader who's using his free time to give back to the community in three very different ways. Arden Paula loves to play basketball, but this 13 year old from Francis Parker Middle School is not your average eighth grader. I wrote a book and I made a documentary during the pandemic, which I had a lot of free time in. The book, The Adventures of Noah's Flying Car, was an idea he came up with when he was eight. The book is about a kid named Noah who discovers a flying car and visits various countries throughout the book series. My curiosity drove me inside where I discovered a flying car. He always has a stylish hair and loves wearing red shirts. He loves playing tag as well as hide and seek. Yeah, I, I like writing a lot and, um, and all the proceeds from the books were donated to homeless shelters. Arden also likes directing and making videos. So of course, he made a documentary called A Second Chance. And basically, I made a documentary about the homelessness in San Diego from a kid's perspective. I interviewed many of the homeless people in San Diego uh, and they told their stories. I submitted it to a lot of film festivals and uh, I won six awards. At 13 years old, Arden has already authored a series of books. He can call himself an award-winning documentary director. And cut. And if he's not busy enough, he's also started his own nonprofit. The Sports for Kids. I started it last year, uh, and our goal is to provide all low-income youth to play sports while building, phys building physical and social skills that will serve them for a lifetime. And we have them compete in basketball games and practice league basketball drills. As you can see, Arden loves giving back and volunteering in the community. It's something he says was inspired by his parents. Really rewarding feeling after you give back. You feel like you're doing something for the community and it's really, really good feeling. Steve Smith, ABC 10 News. Arden hopes to write another book as well as provide a thousand bags of hope for children in need at the holidays.